Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday and welcome to NHL Now presented by Chipotle. You can get free delivery in app and online. I'm Jackie Redmond. He's EJ Raddick. And our guest today is TJ Oshie yes. of the Washington Capitals. First off, congratulations because you have welcomed a new member to your family. So we'll start there. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we got Campbell, uh, our first boy, um, about three and, a, three and a half weeks old now. And he's doing great. He's uh, sleeping and pooping and eating and <laughs> kind of the only things he really does at this stage but uh he's been awesome and i noticed right away that you said you have your golf partner for life when you uh, when the baby was delivered so uh, i guess he'll be out there with the little clubs as soon as possible yeah as soon as, i mean he's got a pretty good grip strength already so i've tested a couple little uh little plastic clubs but he's not quite right. there yet we'll wait maybe at two months we'll uh we'll okay <laughs> well, uh, you've got three kids at home now. You're obviously keeping busy based on your social media accounts. I saw you were teaching one of your daughters how to ride a bike. What was your strategy in doing so? Did you let her know you were going to let go? Like, what was, what was the lead up? <laughs> what was your plan of attack? Uh, so I, I had to be a little delicate with, with the older one. She gets pretty nervous fairly easy. So uh, you can kind of see, and if anyone's seen the video, I looked kind of silly running behind her but uh th that was just the fir her first day without training wheels and she never really rode a bike before that with training wheels so um but so I I didn't really tell her and she'd get mad when I'd let her go and uh she ended up figuring out figuring it out and uh I guess now four days in she can kind of ride a bike on her own she can stop she can start everything so yeah, yeah. She's, a, she's a quick learner but uh I had to I had to take it pretty easy with her with Lenny with our middle child I'll probably just let her go and figure it out and let her fall and, and she'll be fine. <laughs> it's interesting, like, I guess you treat different kids differently, right? Because they have different yeah. personalities. Right. Yeah, definitely. I, I think I got mine figured out pretty pretty good. So um, I think that was the easiest way to, uh, to handle it with, uh, with Lila. And, and she's, been, she's been doing awesome now and wants to get out there every day. TJ, we're all creatures of habit, and obviously we're all out of our normal habits. And, you know, hockey players, I know you guys are really creatures of habit. Are you settling into this new routine of being kind of a uh, stay-at-home dad and a teacher and working with your wife, Lauren, around the house all the time? Are you settling in a little bit? I'm getting more comfortable and, and kind of understanding yeah. what I got to do on a day-to-day -day basis for sure. Yeah. But uh, it, is, it is tough. I think, um, you know, I'm sure – players that, that retire feel this way too that there's kind of you feel yeah. like there's something missing you're not in the room with the guys you're not um competing you know every other night so it's uh that that kind of side is missing and I'm trying to fill it with uh board games at night and <laughs> up playing video games again which I haven't done in I don't know six mm -hmm. or seven years so um but it's uh it, it's for me I, I think you know, it's, you're not lucky, but uh, I definitely take a positive out of being here for, um, you know, the birth of Campbell and being able to help out Lauren with the other kids around yeah. the house. So, uh, you know, we've been we've been rolling with the punches and, and having fun with our time together. Are you doing handshakes with your kids to make up for the lack of handshakes from your teammates right now? I know that's a big thing. <laughs> you've got one with every guy. <laughs> well, they do. Uh, I don't know. It was like the the patty cake thing with my oldest she tries to get me to do that and I can't really keep up with her so um but I'll I'll, I'll work on it I'm, I'm used to some uh different types of handshakes and hitting people with sticks so uh <laughs> I gotta I gotta I gotta work on my uh patty cake game all right what what have you just you know in this situation when we're all kind of thrust into this and being home around the house more and like I say out of our routines I've kind of discovered some different things about uh, things in my house. Have you discovered things that maybe about your wife or your children or things at the house that you didn't really realize were going on all the time? Um, no, I guess not, not really. I, yeah. uh, you know, when we have days off and stuff, I, I don't really, I just stay home and, you know, I'm around the house quite a bit, but yeah. there is stuff over the course of the season, especially it seems like this season or this last season has been, really crazy schedule wise with travel yeah. for for the cap so um there's stuff around the house that i've been putting off for a couple months that i'm finally <laughs> able to get to so uh that's been nice but no it's uh you know i i i always appreciate it and, and respect it and, and yeah. love for how, how good she is with the kids around the house on a daily yeah. basis and now that i'm here doing it you uh 
you gain a lot more appreciation for you know just the patience and and the mm -hmm. constant cleaning up after the tornadoes from Rimini. yeah yeah. yeah, I'm sure she's very appreciative of your presence <laughs> and the ability yeah. to be like, oh, hey, remember this house project I wanted to do? I feel like now is the perfect time we can do it. Um, we put a tweet out asking some viewers or Caps fans for some questions. So we picked out a couple for you uh, so we can, you know, mix in the fans and get their questions asked. One of them, and I'm, I'm not sure um, which one we're going to do first. I think we're doing the shootout. And someone wanted to know what your favorite shootout move is that someone else has done. So not yours. Huh. Who pulled off your favorite shootout move and what was it? Okay. It's easy. It's uh Dat Souk's backhand toe drag goal. Um, okay. There's, you know, the, the hands part, I think most NHLers can probably do maybe not at top speed, but um, the way he's able to stay on his one foot on his inside edge and bring his body one way and his legs the other way is, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's crazy, crazy talent. And something I, I still can't do. It's, it's not, it's not my repertoire. So, uh, wow. when I saw, when I saw that for the first time when I was younger, I was in awe and still am. Oh man. Yeah. We missed dad that's, too. Just watching that's a dad good one. Yeah. All right. The other question is a little bit different, less hockey related. And I'm not sure if this is true or not, but this, uh, Twitter user was asking about your love of donuts. They said, since TJ's favorite cheat day food is donuts, what is his favorite kind of donut? So A, is that true? And B, is it what true? Is yeah. Donut? Uh, yeah. So that, that, that's kind of caught on from my, my youngest when she promised I'd get a donut if I scored that night. And uh, I right. scoring. so uh, I do, I do love donuts. Cookies are probably my favorite um, ever since <laughs> I was a little kid, but uh, I like, most donuts. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you don't discriminate. You just they're all equal for you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like, you know, gosh, you can kind of go across the board, and and it's something I like. I'm not a huge chocolate guy, but if it's on a donut, I I, I can still go. <laughs> I like it. Hey, what's not to like? What's not to like? Hey, TJ, there's you know, I I have a son who's 15. He's in youth hockey. There's a lot of kids right now. It's the same thing. They're stuck home. They're not playing. Give me like a good little thing or routine for kids at home. What could they do? Is there one particular thing you could do at home to help your game? Uh, so when I was growing up in, in uh, originally in Everett, Washington, mm -hmm. um, not a lot of hockey players there. And we didn't have, you know, a bag of pucks to stick out, to, stick, to mm -hmm. put up the stick handle around. So I would always just use either cracks in the street or leaves mm -hmm. usually that had fallen on the ground. And I was kind of – I made a game out of it and would just stick handle and the ball wasn't allowed to touch any of the leaves or any of the cracks. So we okay. wanted to flip it up or whatever. And, uh, I don't know, that's kind of the first thing that sticks out to me because I would just go out there and, you know, for hours and not really wow. – I guess I was working on my game but not really thinking about it. Just kind of having Didn't even know. And see how far I could get without touching anything. So, wow. um, I think that's a, an easy one. Obviously, you can't, you know, get all the neighborhoods together right now. So, if you're by yourself and – uh I, you know, you don't have all the tools. Uh, just take a ball out there. I, I like to do it with my rollerblades. I don't have any anymore, but um, <laughs> but when I did, and uh, you know, you go faster and faster and challenge yourself and see how far you can get. Wow. I like all that. Right. I've never I heard like that it. before. Like I yeah. hear all the time, people like, oh, like take your dog out and like try to keep the ball away from your dog. But I've never heard the leaves and the cracks in the ground. So that's a, that's good, a one. good one. I wasn't allowed to have a dog when I was younger, so. I, uh, I, no, I wasn't either. My parents were like, you won't take care of it, so you're not getting it you're older. But uh, listen, TJ, we appreciate the time. We know you're a busy yeah. man, even though you are in self-isolation. Yeah. Uh, big family, we wish you guys the best. Send our best uh, to the little yep. ones and to the misses. We appreciate the time. Again, this NHL Now is presented by Chipotle. You can get free delivery in-app and online. Happy quarantining, everybody. Thanks, guys.